Hey, it's Lance Strucker, and as you all know, I'm reading a book called The Psychology of Money. And I read this book like I can only read a chapter at a time because I'm taking such fierce notes. It validates like everything we think about up here. And, we, and, and they talked about this um, renowned art dealer. He escaped the Nazis in 1936, 37, um, and he started collecting art when he got here. And he collected huge amounts of art most of which it turns out was crap but he ultimately ended up selling the art for close to a, uh, actually it was a hundred million dollars but he, he did it kind of as a donation because it was worth a billion dollars and how did that happen if most of the stuff was crap because there was that one percent that wasn't and when he started collecting the art he had no idea what was going to be the good stuff and what was going to be the lousy stuff and it made me realize, and that was the point, that it's much akin to investing in an index fund that invests in a broad scope, you know, of, uh, of 500, of 1,000 different companies. And most of the companies, in fact, in the Russell 3000, 40% of the companies in the last 40 years have gone out of business. But the reality is the return has been like 8 to 9% a year, same in the S&P 500. You don't have to pick the best one. In fact, most of them will probably end up not being worth that much of anything. But it's that 1% that ends up that makes you money. And the key is buy, instead of trying to pick the best one, buy a bunch and then hold them for a long time. So, you know, like this um, art dealer who was one of the most successful in the world, he bought a lot of stuff. He didn't need it all to do great. And he held it for a really long time. Take of that what you will. Have a great day. Onward and upward.